Okay, hello dear friends. Let's continue the song of the spheres. That's a little bit strange because what I heard is the song of the siren. And uh, let's take a look how it goes. The smell of the dead clings to the nostril. Only when we had passed out, when we had passed out of the mist, when there was wind and tide, day and night, did we shake off the chill. We returned to Circe's island. When my men had feasted and were asleep, I told Circe, what I had learned. She shook her head in wonder. Mortals are meant to have only one journey to that place. You alone will have two. Listen well to what I have to tell you. There are several trials you must undergo before you find the island of the sun god Hyperion. Circe, Circe told me of the island of the Sirens. Oh, Circe told me of the island of Sirens, 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 the, 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 the island of Siren, so, so, I, so, Sirens and their enchantment, and how I might evade them. She told me also of straits. Our ship would approach. The current will carry you into them. You cannot prevent it. To your left, you will see, rising sheer from the sea, a column of rock. The sides so smooth, it is as if they have been polished. The sunlit shrouded in thick smoke. In the column there is a cave. This cave is the liar. Is the liar of an ancient snake necked flame-skinned, six-headed dragon. Oh, they will meet the six-headed dragon. Mm. The island the, the, the island of Siren. Mm. Sihan. Her name is Si Skila. Skila. Her name. Her name is Skila, Sila. Her name is Skila. The Devourer, Devourer. Her name is Skila, the Devourer. As you pass through these straits, she will launch, she will launch and eat six of your crew. Better this than to sail too far to starboard. Odysseus has to sacrifice six of his men. Wow. The six-headed monster. Mm. To, to your right, you will see an island, broad and flat, broad and flat, like uh, the back of a crab. One fig tree dips its branch into the ocean beneath. Under the fig tree, there is a whirlpool. Her name is Sharibids. Sharibdis. 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 Her name is Charybdis, the swallower, the swallower. 
if your ship were to be caught in the grip of a current, not even great Zeus could save you. This is why you must stay as close as you can to the bottom of the dragon's tower. Wow. As soon as she had finished, I asked, How can I kill this Skila? She shook her head. She pressed her finger against my lip. This is no place for acts of daring folly. There is a price, a toll, which must be paid for safe passage through these straits. Either you lost six lives or all of you die. Well, there is a price. The price is six lives. That is... That is uh, more than a mathematical problem, right? It's a mathematical and a moral debate and argument. The next morning, when Dong took her golden throne, we said, we said our last farewell to Circe. She gave us a wind to feel our sail. When the wind failed us, when the sail sagged, we knew we were approaching the enchanted region of the sirens. The sirens sing a song so beautiful that any mortal who hear it forgot everything except the desire to hear more. Many a ship has wrecked itself against the rock that lurk beneath the sea around their island, but they are the daughters of a muse. To pass so close to such beauty without experiencing it was unsinkable. I had to hear that song. I ordered my men to tie me to the mast and block their eyes with wax block their ears with wax. They were to ignore my instruction while I was under the siren's, siren's spell. The shimmering sun began. I begged my crew to change their course. I threatened them and cursed them, but they were deaf to all my pleas. As they pulled at the all, they could see two white hills on the island. When we were close, when we were closer still, they saw that the hills were heaps of bones, bleached white by the sun. On top of each heap, they could see a crater with the body of a vulture and the head of a woman singing. As for me, I could see nothing. I could only hear a song so searingly beautiful. I nearly lost all reason. Wow, the siren song. In the song, I heard so many songs, the beating of a swan's wings, the hiss and drags of the sea on sand, the moan of the wind as it blows across the broad face of the world, the rims, the rhythm of the passage of the seasons, my wife singing, my wife singing, my wife singing, and all the songs I heard were in harmony. For those few moments, I heard the song of the sphere. Ever since then, all music 
has been chattered to me. The sound of a shield as it falls on the cobbled floor. Nothing is as beautiful as the siren sound. It took my heart away. It took my soul away. But uh, I could do nothing because my hand, my body, was bound to the mast. And my men could not hear because their ears were waxed. They were deaf. They could only row, 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 and that's why we can we can go across this dangerous place.